So this is the elite class. Round number 10, heat number one of the 2017 Club 100 Sprint Championship. I see, who did I see on pole position? I think I saw Ian Blake ahead of Pete O'Connor as they swing into turn one. Will they all make it through? Behind the porter cabins, heading up to Christmas Corner. That's G. Elliott diving for the lead ahead of Ian Blake and Pete O'Connor's trying to get back ahead of him into Winkerman's. It's Blake now pushing through the lead. So Blake, Elliott, Pete O'Connor, cart 12 is Dan Truman. The reigning champion cart number one is Steve Brown, fresh from his uh, success at the easy cart E plate. Brandon Williams, Tyler Mays, Joe Holmes, a winner here more than once. Side by side with Dan Healy, new lid I think. Heading up to Christmas Corner and it is Blake. Still ahead of Elliot. Oh, Truman down the inside of O'Connor. Half collecting Jay Elliott who manages to keep it together and for his sins, Dan Truman's had a run down the grass and lost quite a bit of ground. Heading back towards start finish. So the race has settled down now. Heat number one led by Ian Blake, Pete O'Connor, Steve Brown, Brandon Williams, Jay Elliott, Tyler Mays. I suspect there'll be a penalty. Oh, it's just a warning for Dan Truman. That's, that's generous. Heading up to Christmas Corner on lap number two. Brown down the inside of O'Connor. Clean as a whistle, that's what uh, Dan Truman wanted to execute and couldn't pull it off. Williams on the defensive. I think that's cart 15 he's riding in. And Brown's got ahead of Pete O'Connor. And will now chase after one of his championship rivals, Ian Blake. Blake, Brown, O'Connor, Williams, Mays, Joe Holmes, the championship leader, side by side with Jay Elliott. Corn penalty for cart number four. That's John Lissiter. Heading up to Christmas, and Holmes is ahead of Elliott. And we're trying to get a close up of uh, Dan Healy's new lid. I see a bit of red, a bit of orange, a bit of blue, a bit of silver. It looks like an explosion of colour. So Mays on the bumper of Brandon Williams and looking for a way by. Love, kit, love tap. Can't get through. The question is, does your lid, your new lid look good on telly? I think it looks OK. That needs a closer examination. So, Steve Brown towing Pete O'Connor back to the race leader. Down the inside at Inkermans and Brown leads. And Joe Holmes is not too happy with his pass on Tyler Mays, waves him back through. O'Connor now looking for a way past Ian Blake as he has done since uh, turn one. Holmes has now got through. I suppose the question for Dan Healy, is that a lucky paid design after his disaster at Red Lodge when he led the final, only to lose a chain? Tom Dick's in the mix there, looking for a way by Jay Elliott as he tries to find his way past Tyler Mays for seventh place. Steve Hicks as well, looking a bit busy in the midfield. And uh, Brown's got ahead of Ian Blake. And so is Pete O'Connor now. And it's Brown, O'Connor, Blake, Williams. Williams looking pretty handy round here. As I uh, fix my levels. 
Hopefully that's a bit better and you can hear me now. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? That's right, I shall be crooning later on. And I still got to make a couple of quick changes to my setup here. This is always the way, you know. So much to do, so much to remember. Right then, that's more like it. Two minutes 38 left of this eight minute heat. Number one. Where is our race leader? There he is, Steve Brown. He's got about a dozen cart lengths on Pete O'Connor. And uh, Ian Blake struggling here. I suspect that cart will be going to the mechanics bit. He's now fallen in behind his championship rival, Joe Holmes, as he now moves on to try and overtake cart 15, Brandon Williams. So the battle for third place, Williams, Holmes, Blake in 18, Dan Healy in cart number nine, Tyler Mays, Jay Elliott, Tom Dix, Steve Hicks, Dan Truman, John Lissiter and Ed Bars bringing up the tail of the field. I think that's about a dozen a day. Still oh, 13. Still a little bit disappointing. It's tough at the top. Mays round the outside of Healy. Can he make that work? Yes, he can. Well done, Tyler Mays in cart number seven. It looks fairly frantic in the midfield, as you'd expect. So it's still Brown cruising to a win here now, now that he's made his way through the field ahead of Pete O'Connor. The battle is all on third place as they queue up behind Brandon Williams in cart 15. Blake trying to come back at Holmes. And he's not happy with the contact. One minute left. I'd say that's probably two laps. This lap and the next to the finish. Williams shows the outside of Holmes and he drives around the outside. Outstanding. And I think that might be third place in the bag because he's already pulled out a couple of cart lengths on Brandon Williams on the back straight. And Williams seems to be more concerned with Ian Blake. Oh, he takes a shot at Holmes and misses and loses out to Blake in the tour of the boot and to Tyler Mays in the last corner. And Dan Healy will have a run round the outside. The final lap board is out and he's pulled it off. So he shoots, but he misses and Brandon Williams loses four places as a consequence. Down the inside of Ian Blake. Tyler Mays runs him out wide. It must be greasy up there. And the pair of them have lost more ground. And it's not looking particularly good to watch. But Steve Brown into the last corner then, into the boot for the last time. Tore the boot, into the heel now. Steve Brown wins heat one, good for his championship. Oh, a bit late. Pete O'Connor will be second. Joe Holmes, good, good points towards the grid for the final as well. Third place from where he started. Ian Blake has fallen away now, and it's Dan Healy coming through to fourth place. Brandon Williams, Tom Dix, Tyler Mays, Jay Elliott, Ian Blake, and Stephen Hicks is your top ten.